Election day in Australia. Voters turned up to cast their vote. I think we need a little bit of disruption here in Australia. In fact, I think we need a lot of disruption. We need people who can stand up and, and have opinions and thoughts not based on parties. There's been a few things obviously in the last three years, especially during the pandemic, that there's, the government just has got wrong. After six weeks on the campaign trail, the Prime Minister Scott Morrison returned to his Sydney electorate. Flanked by his wife and two daughters, the coalition leader made a last-minute pitch to voters. I'm the first Prime Minister in a very long time that's been able to go through a term and face the people on a second time. And I'm seeking that support because I know this country is facing some strong and difficult and challenging times. The Labor Party was ahead in pre-election polls. That sentiment played out at the ballot box, with Anthony Albanese ousting the coalition government, ending nine years of conservative rule. Tonight, the Australian people have voted for change. I am humbled by this victory, and I'm honoured to be given the opportunity to serve as the 31st Prime Minister of Australia. The Liberal National Party lost safe blue ribbon seats to a group of high profile female independents who campaigned on climate change, gender equality and integrity. Scott Morrison took responsibility for the party's loss, thanked Australians and declared he will step down as leader of the Liberal Party. It is proper to acknowledge the functioning of our democracy. I've always believed in Australians and their judgment and I've always been prepared to accept their verdicts. And tonight they have delivered their verdict. And I congratulate Anthony Albanese and the Labor Party. And I wish him and his government all the very best. While Labor has won the most seats in this election, counting continues. And what we don't know is whether or not Anthony Albanese has a clear majority or if Australia faces the prospect of a hung parliament. And the Labor Party needs to do a deal with the minor parties and the independents to govern. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera. Sydney.